Hello, it's Rob Watson. Um, it's Monday the 6th of July and it is a week since it was announced that Leicester would be going into uh, the second lockdown, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. And uh, I have to say it's been tough. Um, I think people are finding this one a lot more uh, difficult than the, um, the previous uh, lockdown. I think the sense of that you know it's it's um, something which is being um, just ooh, let me extend this just dealt with locally uh, is is a bit more difficult to deal with, uh, and I'm not sure uh, in what way um, you know people are responding. I bumped into a friend who runs a coffee shop um, a few minutes ago, and she told me that it's quieter this time, there's less trade. Uh, and businesses are really finding that there's no, you know, there was some pass and trade in terms of takeaways, but it's dropped, it's, it's dropped significantly. So uh, people are getting the message, certainly when it comes to visiting the city centre and when you walk around, there are, there are a few people about taking some exercise like I'm doing, um, but there's not, there's no, all the shops have closed and there's only the, really the main kind of essential shops that are open. Um, so it's kind of you know, one step forward, ten steps back. And uh, from my own point of view, the uh, the challenge has been, you know, to kind of really keep an e on an even keel. Um, the weather's been pretty miserable, so that hasn't helped. Uh, it's been more like a March uh, uh, spring than it has been a June end of Ju June and July. Uh, we've had some very nice days, uh, but as ever in the UK, you get the nice days, but the the the, the ongoing story is kind of fairly disappointing unless you're down on the south coast maybe so uh, I thought I'd try and uh, get out and about a bit and what I'm planning to do is to get out for some walks and to kind of try and get some exercise around around the city and around the outskirts of the city uh, as if uh, you know Leicester's plagued by uh, the uh, the high number of people with cars uh, and the kind of traffic so it's not a, a, a pleasant place to just hang out in many ways it is nice when there is no traffic and this is the old market uh, place there was a market here the, the Leicester market is just uh, just behind us there um, it'll be closed now uh, and they transfer transform this into a square um, which they, in, the, in Christmas they put a grotto and things like that it's okay um, I'm sure there's, there's, I'm sure it'll get better. I mean, it's just interesting that all of those plans were kind of put on hold. So there's been steady step-by-step -step transformation of the city into a more relaxing kind of space. Um, and you know, hopefully people will get out and start to use it. And when, they, when they, the lockdown is over again, you know, from what I've heard is people are staying in their neighborhoods. They're staying locally um, and they're, they're shopping more locally. And this is a pattern that's, uh, been occurring across the country as well. People are not necessarily travelling to go to supermarkets and to um, uh, to do their main shops, but they're uh, doing do, you know, walking. You know, I hope. Uh, I mean, there's still a fair few people who are addicted to their cars, and uh, I can go on about that for quite some time. Um, but it, you know, it'd be nice to think that it's the beginning of a wider change. And certainly, I've been uh, you know, focusing on some of the road improvements and the pedestrianisation uh, that's taken place in Leicester and the work that is going to take place around Leicester's clock tower area near the Haymarket Station uh, uh, Theatre is about to be uh, started. So there's going to be a lot of work to pedest further pedestrianise that area and then to um, really um, join things up, I think, is the, is the next stage. Um, so I'm just going to have a a wander through from uh, up to the cathedral area um, which is just around the corner from where I am. I have to go past St Martin's which I'll give you a quick tour of. Uh, one of my favourite coffee shops is, this is the Market Tavern where all the uh, people stay all day and drink their benefits away. Uh, am I being a snob? Probably but just over there is Cafe Orso, uh, which is one of my favourite coffee shops. Uh, very nice, friendly. They've been on one of my podcasts, uh, chatting with me and John Costa. Um, and you know, it's like kind of 
you know, it's really annoying that you're seeing pictures of people in the country, around the country now sitting in coffee shops and you can't do that here in Leicester yet. Um, so I suppose we'll get our moment. What I am pleased about is that Weatherspoons isn't open, um, which is always nice. Um, it, you know, the man who runs Weatherspoons is a big Brexit supporter, so, you know, the less trade he gets, as far as I'm concerned, the better. Uh, and if your life revolves around drinking cheap, uh, cheap beer and paying people uh, dodgy wages and working conditions, then then you kind of get what you deserve, really, in my point of view. So, so behind us is St. Martin's, um, the Gelato Village uh, ice cream shop, uh, and just ahead, um, I'm going to go to the cathedral area because it really is a nice, pleasant space to just chill out and the gardens uh, are really quite nice. I'm kind of, I've said this a number of times, I'm, I'm at the age where, you know, finding different flowers uh, seems to please me more than um, the knowledge that there's a burger chain opening up. I'd actually rather, we spent more time and effort focusing on putting um, gardens into the city and planters and uh, you know making it uh, taking the noise down as well I mean I know again I moan about this a lot but you know kind of a, a quieter city is a healthier happier city um, it was interesting the other day I was sat here yesterday with my friend uh, Damien and there were some campaigners or protesters uh, appeared well in, in fact when we got here they were already here and they were being spoken with uh, by the police I mean, these are people in their, 90, in their 60s, uh, you know, white-haired, um, who were protesting against the wearing of masks. And they were protesting against, um, here we go, here's the King Richard statue with the cathedral behind me. And there's the, behind there is the King Richard Visitors Centre. Uh, I bought a, a, an annual ticket to go there so I could use the cafe. I haven't been able to use it. I wonder if I'll get a refund. Um, uh, but the, uh, the protesters were, were, were campaigning against um, 5G masks, uh, masks, not masks. They were also uh, campaigning against masks. Um, and it's like, you know, what YouTube channels have these people been listening to? Uh, they haven't um, bought into this Trumpian idea, have they? That you know, uh, the, the the cause of COVID is you know, wearing a mask uh, is somehow a tyrannical um, challenge to people. When in actual fact, it's about saving lives, and it's about saving people from from what I've read uh, and from what I've uh, experienced myself is actually a very uh, uncomfortable and difficult illness to deal with. Uh, earlier in March and April, uh, I think I had COVID. Uh, probably need to take advantage of getting a test at some point uh, when there's a walk-in centre nearby. Um, but now I love uh, it, the cathedral's really a nice place to chill out and in the, the absence of cafes and things, it's a really relaxing space to come and just contemplate uh, and think about um, what's important. You do get a sound of the traffic on the main road uh, and, you know, kind of, I would really, in, you know, anybody not automatically would get my vote that wanted to impose silences or, or impose the law that exists on the exhausts, the noise that comes from motorbikes and cars and vans, the noise that they create. If somebody wants to clamp down on that for me in their political campaign to the police commissioner campaigns of next year, please feel free to do so. You'll get a, a nod and a wink in from my direction at least. Um, what else? Let's go and have a look at some of the flowers. Let me turn the... Can I turn this around easily? Well, I'll, I'll figure that out later, but... Yeah, it's pretty pleasant. So you've got these, um, and it catches it really nice in the light. Uh, anyway, um, that's me done for a few days. I'll try and do another one, um, just to keep getting practice. I'm terrible at them at the moment. They're not very interesting. I kind of know that, uh, and I'll get a bit more confident. I'll try and do them in spaces when there's people around, because uh, that's one thing that I'm I'm definitely not going to start an interesting view, is it? Let's, uh, let's go back, back around that way. There we go. That's maybe a better view, but then again, I'm bleached out. Uh, so anyway, I'm, 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 I'm waffling. So until next time, uh, if you want to get in touch with me, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Just follow me on Rob W Media. 
Uh, the website is robwatsonmedia.net. Um, and if you want to go over to Patreon and leave a donation uh, so I can get a cup of coffee uh, or you know, support the local business, because that's what I'd be doing, uh, then please, please do. But speak to you soon.